Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn concepts of relative motion. So when the distance between any two points is changing either in magnitude or in direction or both then either of the particle is said to have velocity in relation to the other and is termed as a relative velocity. In simple terms we can define relative velocity as the velocity of an object with respect to another object. Now here we have a figure in which the relative position of B with respect to A is represented where X and Y are the fixed system of axes, X1, Y1 are the moving system of axes, RA and RB represent position vectors of object A and B with respect to X, Y. Now the way or the direction in which the relative position of B with respect to A is represented in the same way we can represent the relative velocity of B with respect to A and even we can represent the relative acceleration of B with respect to A. Now while solving the numericals these two terms will come across absolute and relative which you can relate with position so absolute position relative position or absolute velocity rel relative velocity so in this ex uh, in this figure i will try to uh, explain or clarify the difference between absolute position and relative position so here rb and ra we can term them as the absolute positions of b and a respectively as we have represented them with respect to the fixed axis of systems or fixed system of axis whereas this r b by a is nothing but the relative position of b with respect to a so the relative position is uh, the position of one object with respect to the other whereas the absolute position is the position with respect to position of an object with respect to a fixed system of axis now to differentiate absolute velocity and relative velocity we will go with a small example we will assume that here there is a vehicle which is moving with 50 km per hour so and with that we will assume that there is an observer standing aside who observes the bus pass by him so now in this case the absolute velocity is of the particular vehicle that is bus will be 50 km per hour whereas the relative speed of this bus with respect to the passengers if we we'll relate it will be zero so here in this case again we have related the absolute velocity with respect to fixed system of axis we'll assume the observer to be the fixed system of axis and with respect to him the velocity of the bus is 50 kilometers per hour that is nothing but the absolute velocity and to find out relative velocity here we are relating the speed of the bus with respect to the passengers who are sitting in the bus in this case as the passengers are moving with the same speed of that of the bus the relative velocity of the bus with respect to the passengers will be zero i hope that you have understood the difference between absolute velocity and relative velocity now we will try to understand this relative velocity in one dimensional motion so in this case we assume two vehicles vehicle A and vehicle B where this XA represents the position of vehicle A with respect to fixed axis of uh, fixed system of axis and XB is the position of vehicle B with respect to fixed system of axis. Now for this scenario if it is asked to find out relative velocity of B or relative velocity of A with respect to B this is the notation relative velocity of a with respect relative position of a with respect to b then the formula will be xa minus xb same thing we can apply for velocities if this this is how the velocities are represented for the two vehicles and if it is asked to find out the relative velocity of a with respect to b then the formula will be va minus vb further to find out the relative acceleration of a with respect to b for the same scenario the formula will be acceleration at a minus acceleration at b now for this we will be taking an example 
so we'll assume that there are two vehicles which are moving in the same direction so here they are moving along positive x-axis velocity of a is 10 meters per second velocity of b is 5 meters per second and in this case to find out the relative velocity of a with respect to b the formula you can see is va minus vb so by putting the values we are getting relative velocity of a with respect to b as 5 meters per second now to find out the relative velocity of b with respect to a the formula will be vb minus va and then putting the values we will be getting it as minus 5 meters per second now we will consider the same example but we will just uh, make the two vehicles move in opposite directions so here now vehicle a its direction we have reversed speed is same so now vehicle a is moving towards negative x axis vehicle b is moving towards positive x axis and the if it is asked now to find out the relative velocity of a with respect to b then the formula will be same va minus vb but in this case now va it is moving towards negative x axis so it will be minus 10 so putting the values you are getting relative velocity of a with respect to b as minus 15 meters per second similarly if you try to find out relative velocity of b with respect to a you will be getting it as plus 15 meters per second now we will try to learn or we will try to go through relative motion as a two dimensional motion so now if we will check out velocity of a is moving in positive x, x direction while velocity of b is moving towards negative y direction so in this case if it is been asked to find out relative velocity of b with respect to a this will be the direction of relative velocity of b with respect to a and if we are to find out relative velocity of a with respect to b this will be the direction and as we are going through it as a through as a graphical approach then you can see that it is forming a right angle triangle and then by applying the pythagoras theorem for this hypotenuse which is nothing but relative velocity of a with respect to b or relative velocity of b with respect to a the formula will be under root of va square plus vb square so this is what about graphical approach but generally we will be going through the analytical approach to solve the numericals so for that uh, before that before moving on to the analytical approach you want to find out the direction of this particular relative velocity we can use this formula vb by va now we will go on to the analytical approach this is what majorly we will be using while solving the numericals so for this we have taken a different scenario where va is moving towards positive x axis and vb is moving in third quadrant and now for this if it is asked to find a relative velocity of b with respect to a then this will be the representation of relative velocity of b with respect to a which is shown by red arrow and the formula that we will be using is under root of relative velocity of b with respect to a in x direction square plus under root of relative velocity of b with respect to a in y direction square now to find out these two notations these two terms that is relative velocity of b with respect to a in x direction now this is forming a one dimensional case this is coming under one dimensional case so the formula will be equal to velocity of b in x direction minus velocity of a in x direction similarly to find out relative velocity of b with respect to a in y direction the formula is velocity of b in y direction minus velocity of a in y direction now to get this values to get these two terms we will be requiring these four values that we can get once we will resolve this va and vb into x and y components so in this case va if we will resolve it into x and y this is already moving along x direction so its va is nothing but vx and its y component will be zero in case of VB, as it is moving in third quadrant, it will be having X component also and Y component also. So VB X is coming minus VB cos of alpha and VB Y is coming out equal to minus VB sine of alpha. So if we will be putting these four values here, we will be getting these two terms and by putting these two terms here, we will be getting velocity of B with respect to A. Similarly, we can find out its direction also 
by using the formula relative velocity of b with respect to a in uh, y direction divided by relative velocity of b with respect to a in x direction so this is how we have gone through the concepts of relative motion i hope that you all have understood in the next video we'll be solving numericals on relative motion thanks for watching the video